Hi, this is Mr. Ben. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a full Battleship game board in Google Sheets. Now, the final game board should look like something like this, but we're going to change it just a little bit. And so let's go to the space we're going to be working with. I shared this file with you, full Battleship mod in Google Classroom. So make sure you open it up and you should see a partially made game board, but with some work to do. So first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to have you hide row column N to W because in our version of this game we're not going to need it. And you know, we can hide column M as well. So here's our space for putting our ships and we should finish this game board. So what we're going to do is click on cell B4, drag it to cell L14 and we're going to add the border. So click on borders and all borders. So now they have the lines in between each cell. And the the color for the header row and a uh, header col header column and header row need to be changed to be the same. So what we can do is if we don't know exactly which color it is, we can actually copy the format. So click on Make sure you have selected the cell you want. Uh, so something like could be D4 or C4. Click on Paint Format, and now you see this dashed line. That means it's copied the format of that, and anything else you click on will take on that same format. So if I click on E4, now it looks just like D4, but the, col the word is the same. Just now the colors are the same, are matching the original. Now I can click on Paint Format on the cell I want again. I don't have to do one at a time, I can click and hold and change a bunch at a time. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I want this to be the same as the ones above it. I can even grab cell C4, select it, click on paint format, click and drag down so that all the table now looks, looks good. Uh, we do need to have these centered though, so I'm going to highlight C4 to L4 and go up to horizontal line. Let's put it in the center. Same thing here with B5 to B14. Select it all and center it. Okay, now that we have that done, we can actually save ourselves a little bit of work because down here we need that same table. So instead of typing it all over again and doing it one, at, one step at a time, I can select all of it Go to Edit, Copy, and scroll down. Click on the top left of where I wanted to go, so that would be B, cell B18, and go to Edit, Paste. And now I have two of them. Uh, now I need to have a title for this table here, so I'm going to borrow this one because it's the way, way I want it to be, which is it is merged, it is in the center, Actually, I need to change the align vertical alignment to be in the middle. And now I can copy, go to the first cell of where I wanted to go, which is B16, and edit, paste. Now I want to change the words. I don't want it to say place your ships. This is where we're going to keep track of. Um, actually, let's leave this place. Yeah, we're going to change this one. So I keep changing my mind. We're going to write shoot missiles and in brackets we're going to say type X and fill in color and actually we can say shoot your missiles there we go all right so our left side of the game board is ready now we just got to finish up the right side the legend so it says player and the aircraft shows us is five letters long. So I want to save myself some work, so I'm going to just select the two that are almost ready, and I'm going to click on horizontal line and center it. So that'll look better on the game board. And because I want this to look the same over there, I can just do the copy, the paint format, drag it over, and my aircraft carrier is done. Now the next ship is the battleship. I'm going to make sure I spell it correctly. And Battleship has four 
takes up four spaces. Now I can either go and do each step one at a time, which is all borders, center it, I want to middle align it, and I want it to have a border, which I don't remember the color, so let's take a look at this one. It's the fourth from the right. So fourth from the right. I can do that, or I can even just, again, copy and paste, even though the letters are wrong. So really, I could just copy and paste it my first one. So copy, select all the cells I want to go in, and paste it. Or I can just borrow the format, do the copy, paint, and do it for the next one. And all I have to do now is just type the letter. And the D stands for destroy. Now I'm just one curious, none of these are ver middle aligned vertically. So I'm going to fix that. That's already mid middle. And this is also middle. Okay, now for our next one, our next shift is the submarine. Again, borrow the format of the one that's already correct and then just type in the rest of the letters and P stands for patrol boat. Borrow the format, apply it, and type in the missing letter. All right, now the last part of our legend is showing where the missiles are landing and what they do. So X stands for missile. So I'm gonna type in cell AB19, M I S S I L E for missile. And in our next one, um, I'm actually not sure what we put there. So let's come back to it. Our a, a cell that missed will be black. So we're going to go to the fill color, change it to black. And here we need to type the equal sign. But it's a little bit tricky because you cannot just type equal because then it's going to tell you there's a problem. So you can't type an equal sign because it thinks you're trying to put in a formula. So we have to trick the computer into knowing that it's not supposed to be a formula or equation, it's just the equal sign symbol. So first type an apostrophe, then type the equal. And that apostrophe is a way for the computer to know, oh, just show what I type after without trying to make it a formula or equation. So if you press enter, you only have the equal, equal sign. Same thing here, apostrophe equal, and a hit would be red. And yeah, I really don't remember what goes here. So I'll have to tell you that in person. So for now, I just want to show you that with this game board, you can play with a partner. You would just take one of the boats, you copy it, and maybe you want to put it here. You can play wherever you want. And that looks correct. You don't have to only go horizontal though, you can go vertically. So let's say the battleship, I want to maybe place it this way. So then I'll just copy one and select the four that I want going up and down and paste that. There's no going diagonal though, so please don't put your ship diagonally. It can either be left and right or up and down. So I'll just put the rest on the board And maybe the patrol boat, oopsies, in the patrol boat, I will put it up and down like this. So when you want to play with another person, there you're each going to put your own boat on your own sheet. And what's going to happen is you will, you will record where you're shooting because you can't see their screen. You don't know where their boats are. So you have to record it, and you're going to record it here. So let's say the your opponent, the person you're playing with, says they're going to shoot a, uh, let's say, cell D2. Now, you don't have a boat there, so you're going to tell them, oh, it's a miss. So your miss, um, you would, you can record where they shot by putting an X if you want. Oh, looks like it's not centered, so I'm going to select all of this and center it. Okay, so you can record where they shot the missile and missed, 
But if they hit you, for example, they said F6. Well, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. That you will take turns. So let's say they fired a missile first and they missed you. Now it's your turn. And let's say you want to shoot a missile at G6. Uh, so at G6, there's they will tell you it's a miss or a hit. So if you missed, then it's black. But if they said, oh, you hit one of my ships. Now they don't have to tell you which ship it is because that's part of the game is to try to figure out which boat you're hitting. So if it's a hit, you're going to make it red. And now you know that the rest of the boat should be somewhere around it. Um, but now it's back to their turn. And let's say they say uh, E9. So then E9 is a hit. And you can record that they hit you by changing the color. And that way you tell them, oh, um, it's a hit. But you don't tell them what they hit and let them figure it out. And then now it's back to your turn. and a good strategy is to try to guess something near it. Maybe it, the boat is going this way, maybe it's going this way, or up or down. So it's up to you to try to narrow it down and sink that ship. And then that's how, what you're going to do. So maybe you say, next, I want to shoot a missile at F6. And they'll say, oh, that's a miss. And then you know, oh, okay, the boat must be going in this direction, in this direction, or in this direction, um, depending on how big the boat is. So uh, that's what you do. You take turns until you have only one person with any boats that are not completely sunk. And you do have to hit all of the spots of the ship in order to sink that boat. It's not like the class game where one hit sinks the entire boat. So you have five boats in all, and you want to sink your enemy's ships before they sink yours. And the winner wins the game. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.